We took a little bit of time off for the holidays, but uh, Babs and I are headed over to the shop. We're gonna go uh, wrap up a bunch of little things, trying to get this thing finished. Um, at least enough mocked up for the upcoming open house we're having um, for Grand National. And then after that, that sucker's getting blown apart and we're gonna start painting and chroming and doing all that fun stuff, so stay tuned. <laughs> main thing we're doing today is gas tank so um, I got this guys if you remember on one of the earlier episodes I got this off an offer up the similarities to it were really close but it had these weird ends and we always figured well we'll f fix those or time is of essence and uh, Lucky found this tea tank um, that actually has pretty much the same look as Tweety Pies it has these domed ends that a lot of tanks don't have, so yeah. we sourced that and um, found it. So we're gonna cut these these beads off, basically. That's where we'll cut all the way around, and then uh, both ends, and then we'll roll a centerpiece, um, make it the length that we need, and then we'll roll, weld the bungs on and do all kinds of stuff. This is uh, these tanks are all galvanized, yeah. so we have to um, dip them in muriatic acid and so we can weld to them. So we're basically going to try to make a tank today. And then um, after that gets all figured out, um, we'll send it over to Harrison. He's going to finish weld it um, because we are strapped for time. We are trying to get this thing more complete, um, buttoning up a bunch of the little things for the open house we're going to have in a few weeks. And then after that, the plan is to blow it all apart and start working on the paint and everything to get it done. So anyways, that's where we're at. Let's do it. Big reveal. Big reveal. Big reveal. Hold on. Here it goes. This is what galvanized steel <sighs> from the 1900s looks like. Ooh. Did that smoke come out? Yeah. See, there's gussets in there. That's what I thought. There's gussets. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Yeah. Galvanized. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's cut the other one. So we're not going to um, we're not going to pinch weld all this stuff. Pinch, seam it. Um, we're going to make regular seams in the part that we fill in. But I'm going to make a backup piece of L metal that goes inside just to hold the structure. And then we're going to also make a couple round gussets inside there to um, back up the welding of the rest of it to just make it more uh, stronger and easier to weld. Yeah. Okay, so here at Lucky's Science Lab, today we are going to... This is hardly science. <laughs> <laughs> no. In order to weld, this is a um, galvanized, galvanized steel. In order to do that, we have to take the zinc coating off, apparently, so it's able to weld. So We're going to soak it in muriatic acid, Yeah. which will also remove your rust if you want to know let's do it i don't do we need kind of sciencey it's kind of sciencey right so we got this home depot bucket and we got some muriatic acid so this should smoke and yeah fire stink how long do we soak it for i think we just leave it in for a while and see how it goes okay, we're gonna leave it in for a while and see how it goes oh so stinky it smells like your dog you say it's not good for your hands no <laughs> All right, so I uh, ended up scrubbing these uh, ends and getting um, all that weird stuff off of them. 
um, and we just kind of mocked it up to where it should probably be. So this is what it's looking like. We call this the invisible tank. It's going to yeah. be like <laughs> yeah. uh, Wonder Woman's yeah. airplane. We're going to put it in a thing and go whoop, 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 and make a circle. Text to a slip roll, 36 inch. Just going to roll that shit. We're just going to roll this shit. Let's roll it. See what happens. Rolling. How do you feel about your roll? My thoughts are it's not done. How are your thoughts we'll, on we'll that? We'll get last... back to you when it's done. How was that roll that you just did? What are your thoughts Fucking, on the roll? It was tough, man. <laughs> Kick my ass. How my arms are sore. I know. Look at those gay bad boys. <sighs> I'm gonna feel that tomorrow. Sure will. Um, we got it trimmed up a bit now, and I'm just putting some final shape into it, and then we got to trim. Um, where the, the bead weld is going to go. And we just fine tune, trim that. I'm going to make three gussets. One to flange here, one to flange here. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going to put one right in the middle. Yeah. So when we set that um, drain bung, we're going to do it off center. So we don't go right through that. Right. So look, he made this ring that's gonna go around that, like a flange, and he's gonna put that on that, and then that's gonna go in there, and then it's gonna be done. How's it going, huh, right? Lucky did a bunch of work on that tank this weekend, and um, so we're gonna check out the progress and uh, just see what is going on. Let's go. All right, so after the weekend, um, we're here, and Lucky did a bunch of stuff and got some work, more work done to this tank. So, explain what you've done today. Explain. Let me explain. I was building these gussets, and none of the sizes were working out right last week. So, it was stretching flat sections in between uh, our openings here. So anyway, I just basically redid it. I still got to weld this up. Um, this little gusset is just to hold the, the structure and hold it round because we're adding this center section in. Um, so I put a gusset here and one on that side. So with the cloning of Tweety Pie, we're hard to make this little flange, this little weld flange for the filler. And that's going to go right in here somewhere. And then I cut down this... Um, this cast bung. This will go in the bottom for our feed. Get in there. Yeah, it's gonna look real good. Yeah, screw that thing. What? That is magical. Yeah, yeah. It looks good, man. Look at that. It's like the missing piece. If you remember, a long time ago, we devised a plan because Tweety Pie has one strap coming down and no strap on this side because the filler's in the way for one. And they have some weird little hook thing underneath so that it can't lift up. But what I'm gonna do, see I welded these brackets here. So I have to weld a nut bung here so we can 
bolt up through and suck it down to hold it there. So the exciting thing about getting this tank done is that I think we're finalizing the last of like the things that need to be replicated with the car. Um, you know, I have all the tail lights and everything and we're working on these final shock mount setups um, that need to be mounted. So once we get those shock mounts done, there's a couple little like accessory things like um, it had these like tailpipes on the end, this thing, there's an antenna which we'll get more into once we get there. But overall, the car is pretty much built as far as the pieces that needed to be built and the things that needed to mimic the original car. So it's um, pretty exciting times. So I'm gonna work on, like I said, start taking this dash apart a little bit, getting this column out so we could uh, mount a bracket here to mount the steering column so we can get some steering in this bad boy. Uh, might put the shift tower back in, um, just little things. But when we do the open house, it's going to be cool. It's going to have um, everything on it. I'm going to put the headlights back on it and the intake and all that stuff, make it look as complete as possible. So it'll be cool for people to see over Grand National Weekend. Um, and then it's blow it apart and go to work. Tap dancing. Tap it out, tap it out. A little twisty twisty and you're good to go. Make a steel plate. Strength. Strength. Right, I'm gonna, we need to put this dash back on. Okay. And this column back in. Okay. So I'm gonna build this bracket. Yeah. I'm gonna put it at the top of the steering column under the dash, and I'm gonna run it back to the firewall. Yeah. And it'll bolt on somehow. We have to figure that out. Yeah. Um, but it's a strength bracket because you and I both know that this dash yeah. <laughs> will pop right up. Yeah. Right? So if you're slamming on the brakes and you're pushing your steering wheel up, all of that can still move. Yeah. So I, I wanna put this structure in there so it can move less. Move less is better. going in I'm that's going right in. all right so we just put it all back together and um lucky made that bracket you can kind of see it but yeah that's pretty good it's uh it's holding it all together nicely now and um we could turn the steering wheel so yeah it's cool pretty good all right so today I um, brought my intake from home um, I brought oil pan windshield um, and today I'm basically just gonna start throwing stuff on get it ready for our open house and uh, clean all the bare metal get stuff all de-rusted and yeah so that's what we're gonna do today nothing too crazy He's back on the tank, um, and he is welding a bung. Bung. Why are you cutting that? Uh, so we can squeeze it a little tighter. Word up.
All right, so we're ending the day today. Uh, we got a bunch done. Lucky got the gas tank pretty much tack welded in order for Harrison. I'm gonna take it over there. He's gonna weld it all up. Filler welded on. Got the uh, sender. So yeah, overall that's pretty much done as far as Lucky's part of it. Um, and then Harrison will take it and finish it. Starting to put the engine back together, put the firewall back in, cleaned up all the rust off the bare metal, put my headlights on, put the radiator on. Um, so now it's just starting to look a little bit more complete. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you, Lucky, for the gas tank work. Bab says, thank you, Lucky, for building the gas tank. Did you want to say anything? In uh, that regards? No, I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> you said enough I'm today. I'm over it. You haven't said anything today. It's a, the four-hour side project. It's detour. not a side a project. It's not a side project. It was a detour. What was? That. Nah. There's no detours here. Um, Pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, looks good. got off of work so Harrison screwed his arm up but he's still gonna be able to weld apparently there he is Ooh, uh, <laughs> all right so how you doing man doing good <laughs> are you sure yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah right? I mean look at you got no complaints <laughs> this, um, so you're gonna be able to weld yeah, I think so. You know, we got, let's see. Nothing will stop this animal. No. We're Nothing here, will stop this animal. We're here to party. Skateboarding is not a crime, by the way. wires um, I like to support some small businesses um, noble uh, speed equipment is awesome he's doing some really cool uh, more 60s oriented but he has the clear plug wires that um, he dyes and gets them in different colors I needed clear and as I wanted like I said I want to support some small businesses so I ordered some new clear plug wires these are seven millimeters so check out uh, noble speed equipment um, I also I'm gonna transfer these cool Eelco ends, um, distributor ends, but I also got these that are falling out of the package now. I got these crazy Eelco, they're in the box, but these are kind of cool. Um, they're, they're awkward looking, but they're different. The wire comes in here and these go onto the spark plug. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of weird, but I'll show you a close up of them. So these were in the pack. Um, now they're in the box, <laughs> but I love using old original, uh, Eelco stuff or Cal custom stuff. Um, when I do this car. All right. So I got, uh, this distributor thrown in really quick made these uh, plug wires courtesy of Noble Speed Equipment. Ooh, they look good. I have to trim them up a little bit, but for now they're gonna, they're gonna be fine. I also have these cool separators that I'm gonna put on later, um, just using these temporarily. Um, but they look pretty rad. So Harrison has been working on this tank like really hard over several, like over a week. And uh, he's finally got it done and then green for the car show, which is today. And it looks pretty green. 
There it is. So we are now heading to Lucky Shop for the Grand National Roadster Show open house. Um, he's been having those forever and um, it's a good time because everybody's in town. So um, we got the car pretty prepped up. Following Harrison right now in his tee and um, we just we spent a bunch of weeks working on some stuff and the car is pretty good. It's um, put together. Lucky and Harrison both really went over the top. So anyways, now we're... Uh, Gonna spend the day uh, enjoying good company. Hi. You can't park there. Oh. I just want to <laughs> really say congratulations on our first real hangout with all of our cars. Yeah. Right. What? Dude, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> and thank you for your hard work on the car, and thank you for helping with the shop. Absolutely. All right, well, we're here. Check it out. Boom. Bam! <laughs> Open house was a success. Um, thanks for everybody that came out. That was fun times. Good times. We had fun times. The taco lady ruled, and it was just good to have uh, some people around checking out the car and checking out the race car and stuff like that. Uh, Lucky's got to finish up a couple little things, and uh, the plan is to blow it apart. Um, we might take a road trip to debut this thing in April. I'm not going to tell you where just yet. But um, that's the plan is hopefully by April to have this thing done. So we're going to blow it all apart, start doing all the fun things, the chroming and, and all that jive upholstery paint. And uh, yeah, so make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and hit the bell. Lucky, you got anything else to say? No. <laughs> Why do you never have anything to say? Hey, Lucky, tell us about our future projects. After we finish up Tweety Pie here, we're going to start another special project. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more tech savvy, um, a little more detailed build stuff. So make sure you guys check that one out. Coming soon. Coming soon. Pew! Pew! Next series of videos um, hopefully will be the final round of this car um, as far as getting it done once and for all. Um, I know it's been a journey and I, I appreciate everybody sticking around to watch it. I like to thank two people, one being Harrison for doing what he did. And last but not least, this guy for everything he always does. He really did some good stuff. I appreciate it. <laughs> Once again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. 
the refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink.